Hey. Welcome to my room. This is my Cambridge University student room for my final year here at Cambridge Young Medicine. I guess I'll give you a little tour of my room and talk you through some of the things that I keep in it in case this is entertaining or interesting to someone. So let's start with this over here. So this is actually a mini fridge in Emmanuel College, which is the college I go to. They put mini fridges in every single student room. I'm not really sure why they, why they do this, but it's quite nice. On top of this, I keep all my toiletries, so my toothbrush, toothpaste, my skincare stuff, and then various bags with sort of skincare or makeup stuff inside them. So I did sort of mention some of my skincare products that I use in one of my Q&A videos. I might make a full skincare video at some point as well. Keep my brushes here, which is what I used for blow drying my hair. And I very sneakily hide my hair dry behind my mirror. So this is where I do my hair and makeup and skincare, all of that good stuff. Yeah, so this is my kettle. I like making tea. And actually on that note, let's go over to the shelf in the corner over here. This is my little bookshelf. On the top, there's lots of tea. I found that when I'm studying, before I started drinking lots of tea, I would always want to like snack on something, whether that's some kind of biscuit or like blueberries or something like that. But by having an extensive collection of tea and being like, you know what, instead of snacking on something, I'm going to make myself a pot of tea. That kind of really helps me to stay focused while studying and also not end up eating like several packets of digestive biscuits in one sitting, which was maybe something that I might have done once or twice. <laughs> so then on the rest of the bookshelf, so I have my little um, teacups here. Uh, I only have three teacups. That's all I kind of really need for tea for me, plus maybe two friends. This one's actually also got this Great Wave on it. I actually have a big Great Wave poster. I think when I got the poster, that was the first thing I got. People saw it and kind of associated it with me and then they would buy me like Great Wave <laughs> like things such as like a bag, a tote bag, this cup, a little coaster, all of this sort of thing. So it's almost got to the point where it's a bit weird that I have so much <laughs> Hokusai and the Great Wave stash. It's a bit, a bit too much, but I just gotta lean in, you know? And then obviously you got this little kind of medic style tea cup, pretending that the tea is some kind of medicine, which in some ways it is. And then I've got a bunch of books. I'm not sure how interesting it is to go through all of them, to be honest. But yeah, I've got some like yoga books, a couple of other books. I kind of order them by height, um, vaguely. And then there's also this little card game called The Confessions Game. It's by the School of Life. Basically, it has a bunch of sort of interesting or like thought-provoking questions that you can ask with friends and you roll this dice to, yeah. Anyway, we won't talk too much about that, but this is quite a fun game, would recommend. Then on the bottom level, I have stuff that I'm studying with. So in a way, this is the tea level. This is like the books I'm just reading for fun and other things level. And this is where I have some of my HSK books and so my HSK5 books for studying Mandarin. I have some of my medical books, The Grey's Anatomy, uh, the classic Cheese and Onion. Um, and along with like some flashcards, a tendon hammer, a little tuning fork over here. And then over here, I just sort of keep my like various files and like notes and and things like that. And like, right, so moving on, since we're already here, let's talk about my Zafu. So this is my Zafu. It's quite good for sitting on for meditation. Not much more to say about that, um, but seeing it just reminds me to meditate sometimes. This is um, a Thai mattress, which is stuffed full of natural kapok. And it's quite nice when people stay over, uh, such as when my sister visits, then she can just sleep on this mattress and it, it rolls up quite nicely and just has good vibes generally. Um, it's quite comfy actually. This over here is my little meditation blanket and I just pop it over here on this seat. In the corner, I have a little lamp, if it works. And in the kind of evening time, it's quite nice just for good vibes generally. On top of this, I have another tea thing, <laughs> little Google mini and a little like essential oil diffuser. I don't know what you call it. Yeah, essential oil diffuser. Maybe we can talk a little bit about, a bit about this. This is just a mantelpiece. I just pop a couple of things on it that I like. This is a picture from my matriculation at Emmanuel College in 2015 with the whole year. This is a picture of me when I was in chapel choir with all of the gang. Um, just some cards here, some perfume and this little 
leopard poster, which I really like to keep with me. Oh yeah, stashed behind here, I actually have my MA graduation <laughs> uh, certificate, which I probably need to put somewhere more secure at some point, because this is just how I got it on the day when I like had my MA graduation. So if anyone's unfamiliar with MA graduation stuff, it's essentially like a random free MA that people at Cambridge get. I don't really understand why, but four years, is it four years? After you get your BA, it's automatically upgraded to an MA just because you went to Cambridge. I don't really know, it's some weird tradition, but yes. So other things over here. So obviously you have a little guitar. It's a kind of Martin LX1RE. It's like a small version of a guitar. Then I have my Peace Lily, which actually has featured in many of my videos. And she's actually blooming again. And this time with two flowers. She's never made two flowers before. So I'm very excited. When I saw the little like, flower buds coming out, that was very nice. And she's doing pretty well. I think sometimes because I'm away on placement, I don't always get to water her as much as I should. So she has a few brown tips, but her new leaves are looking very nice and healthy. I did a couple of like art mindfulness and art therapy sessions and made a few random paintings, like these sorts of things, um, which don't really look like anything, but they were quite fun to make anyway. And I just sort of popped them over here. And then I have my little plant mister, for when I remember. It's also quite good for like styling hair as well. I think that's actually what it was meant for. I don't really know, but it works for both purposes. And then also just some candles here as well. Below all of this, there is my chest of drawers. So this just has like various like socks and like and clothes and things like that. We don't need to go too much into detail on that. It's not particularly interesting, but yeah, essentially I keep my sort of socks and all of that stuff here, tops, bottoms, and then miscellaneous stuff at the bottom. Um, maybe this cupboard. So this cupboard is, I actually love this cupboard so much because it's like a walk-in wardrobe type situation. And when anyone comes over, I can sort of put all the mess and rubbish into this cupboard and just close the door. And it's like it never existed in the first place. So we can have a little sneak peek. Essentially, I keep my coats here. So various coats and also like dresses, also my Cambridge gown I keep in here, which is actually a bit torn, I think, because we wear gowns to formal dinners and there's sometimes a little bit of wine at the formal dinners. And yeah, anyway. And then on this side, I keep sort of my clothes that need to be hung up rather than folded in my chest of drawers. So like my clinical school clothes or like, various linen shirts and bits and bobs like that. And then there's like a, quite a lot of storage space, so it's a bit messy in here. So I think that's probably enough mess for now. <laughs> okay, so this over here is just a collard provided like little sofa-y type thing, which isn't really a sofa because it's got like hard wooden handles, but it's quite nice for people to just come and sit here and chill out. And over here, there's a little coffee table. I tried to cover it with this like white thing because underneath it, obviously this is all college accommodation and they provide all the furniture. I think maybe it hasn't been treated the best in the past so I just sort of use this little piece of cloth just to cover some of the dents <laughs> and all that stuff. Um, but yeah obviously I've got some little flowers here. When I don't have flowers then I usually pop one of my other plants on the table just to bring a bit of like green freshness into the middle of the room. Coming to one of the main features of the room which is my desk. I actually have done a desk setup video as well. So if you want to see that, then click somewhere over here. I'll link it uh, if you want me to go into more detail on my desk setup. But otherwise, essentially, this is my desk. It was provided by college. It does the job. <laughs> and it's a wheelie chair. I usually like stash my bag on this side. I've kind of left a little slot here just to put my bag. And then I just have some various like stationery and miscellaneous bits. This is my teapot, which I use for my tea instead of my digestive biscuits. Bunch of candles as well. So I listened to a Huberman Labs podcast about light exposure and circadian rhythm, rhythm and all that kind of stuff. Sometimes I'll put on candles in the evening to light up my room instead of traditional normal lights uh, just because they're a little bit gentler on the whole circadian rhythm thing and don't stimulate the superchiasmatic nucleus quite so much. <laughs> Sorry, that's a bit too much. <laughs> anyway, so other things I have here, some plants, some headphones, then coming to my bedside table. So this is my bed. It's just a simple single student bed. Um, on my bedside table, I have, I always keep a water bottle. I recently upgraded from a 500 ml to a one liter because I thought then I only need to remember to fill it up twice in a day. And then if I drink all of that, that's my two liters for the day. Um, I've left my keys here, so 
that's they're not usually they're, they're usually in my bag then i have this little like blue box thing that i keep jewelry and other bits when i'm not wearing it just when i take it off at night i've got my philips somnio wake up sunrise simulator alarm type thing which lights up in the evening wait not sorry sorry not in the evening it basically gradually increases in brightness in the morning to kind of help wake me up more naturally i've also got my little apple watch charger and my phone charger over here and i just keep a couple of books on the bedside table um so at the moment it's these ones essays in love by alain de Botton, life with full attention by maitre bandu which is actually a an eight week meditation course uh, and like mindfulness course where you gradually build up elements of mindfulness in your life over the eight weeks and I did it live in lockdown well live as in like over zoom with him sort of guiding the course and I've been intending to do it again on my own because he includes all the instructions in the book and then there's a little kindle as well I've been reading this for ages 1984 just when I feel like I don't want to read anything too factual. I, if I want something slightly more fiction vibes, then this is quite nice and I'll just read a little bit of that, but just very slowly ambling through it. Then what else is there? It's Danny the Duck. Danny the Duck has been with me since my second year at uni and he has been with me through a lot of tough exam terms. Um, and yeah, then there's my bed, my Hokusai poster, the Great Wave of Kanagawa, which I've had since my first year, so it's been following me around everywhere I go and inspiring people to give me gifts with the Great Wave on them. And then over here we have my little yoga mat and my yoga wheel as well. I quite like doing yoga maybe every other day, something like that, and I just set up either along here where I can practice like handstands or things that need a wall or just in the middle of the room where I can face out the window. Um, yeah, the yoga wheel is pretty good for like stretching out your back or practicing forearm stands and it's just generally quite a nice setup and just by keeping it out here and very accessible means that I'm more likely to just grab it and start doing some yoga. In previous rooms that have been bigger sometimes I'll actually leave my yoga mat unrolled so I just can see it and be like oh why don't I hop on the mat and do a bit of yoga and actually these trousers that I'm wearing are actually yoga pants so I decided at some point in lockdown to just get a bunch of these yoga pants that kind of look like normal trousers-ish with this sort of slightly boot cut kind of shape rather than the classic like all the way fitted yoga pants. So, so they're like really stretchy and essentially I can do loads of stretching and yoga while wearing these which makes it even more convenient. And this over here is my like towel bathrobe type thing because obviously the kitchens and bathrooms in this kind of student accommodation are all shared i often will wear this like to and from the bathroom and it has pockets as well where i pop my like conditioner and my shampoo and things like that which makes it all super handy and means i don't have to leave them in the bathroom where it will either be cluttering up for other people or sometimes if one of the bathrooms is busy and i can't get to my shampoo and conditioner that's kind of frustrating so this basically avoids all of those issues in one simple bathroom and this is my handbag as well which i just sort of leave there for convenience. Anyway, so this is what my room looks like at Cambridge University. This is my last time here, so actually I'm moving out of this room in around a month or so. But if you enjoyed this video and you found it interesting or entertaining in some way, you might like this video over here, which is my desk setup video, uh, which basically goes through all of the things on my desk that help me to study as effectively as possible and do all the things that I want to do. Thank you so much for watching. Take care of yourself and I will see you in the next video. Bye.